Am I being too kind to my players? How do I find the balance between being too good or on the other hand, too ruthless with my players? Last session, I saved them from a TPK twice. And even though one of that was a semi-planned deuce ex machina type thing that made sense within the story, the other one wasn't. The funny thing is that at the same time, I designed those encounters with the specific intent of punishing them for being too careless during that specific story arc. After the session, I was stuck with the feeling that at least one to two players should have been dead by now, and I just couldn't bring myself to be decisive enough during the game. It's not that I don't want to upset my players, since they are not that type of people. It's just that despite the odds, I make them succeed more than they realistically should. Excellent question. Excellent question. Unfortunately, this is a common problem among dungeon masters, and there's actually a lot more to this post than I think even the poster realizes. So let's break it down. I am going to copy and paste this text and put it in a doc. That way we can manipulate it a bit. Okay, so how do I find the balance between being too good or on the other hand, too ruthless with my players? There's one line in here that I really want to highlight and that's, I just couldn't bring myself to be decisive enough during the game. This is an important line. I want to put emphasis on this line because we're going to keep coming back to it. I also want to highlight a few other things. Mainly, I saved them. I'm going to put, I'm going to bold that. From a TPK twice, and even though one of that was a semi-planned deuce ex machina, bold that one. The other one wasn't. The funny thing is that at the same time, I designed those encounters with the specific intent of punishing them for being too careless during that specific story arc. I want to put in parentheses here because how I'm reading this line is, this line is I punish them for not caring. That's what this line says. I designed those encounters with a specific intent of punishing them for being too careless during that specific story arc. I punish them for not caring. I just I want I want that there because we're going to come back to that as well. After the session, I was stuck with the feeling that at least one or two players should have been dead. I'm going to highlight that. It's not that I don't want to upset my players since they're not that type of people. I'm not sure what type of people you're referring to here. I guess people that don't don't want to be upset. It's just that despite the odds, I make them succeed more than they realistically should. All right. Are we noticing a theme among this post? Are we noticing a theme? I would argue. So you think, so poster thinks that the problem is I just couldn't bring myself to be decisive enough. I would argue the opposite. I would argue that poster may be too decisive may be too in control. So things like I saved them from a TPK, I planned a deuce ex machina, I designed those encounters with the intent of punishing them, I couldn't be decisive enough. I was stuck with the feeling they should be dead. I make them succeed. The reason these lines are standing out to me is because it feels like the DM needs to be in control of every aspect of the session. And as soon as the players start to deviate from the behaviors that they had in mind, they feel the need to correct them by punishing, by designing encounters to with the specific intent of punishing them. And the reason that this is a problem besides the obvious is that the DM starts to struggle with balancing between being too good or on the other hand, too ruthless with my players. The reason that this is coming up is because you have to have so much control over what's going on that you need to, you feel the need to overcorrect when you're walking a tightrope. So you're building encounters to punish them, but then you feel like you're being too ruthless. So you start trying to save them from TPKs, which feels too nice. And then you're back over. The players don't have a lot of control, at least from what I'm gathering from this post, the players don't have a lot of control over the outcome. I mean, think about lines like I saved them from a TPK or I, I feel, or I was stuck with the feeling that they should have been dead. I couldn't bring myself to be decisive enough. I make them succeed. So all of these, with the, with, with the exception of this line, all of these kind of have this, like, I'm doing everything 
mindset to it. And that's going to overwhelm you as a DM and it's going to overwhelm your players as well. The player, like you're effectively just taking away the player's ability to do things. So I wouldn't say that you're having an issue being decisive. I would say that you're being a little too decisive. Like this, these are decisions. I saved them twice. I saved them twice. One of them was planned. So things like that are, are where you kind of have your hands too much in the player's Kool-Aid. And I honestly feel that a lot of the issues that you've brought up in this post could be solved by just taking a step back and giving the players control over the direction of the session. Because finding the balance between good and ruthless and players aren't caring, I was stuck with the feeling they should have been dead. All of this is alleviated if you just allow the players to make decisions and let those decisions have an impact outside of what you had planned especially if you're planning to save them with some with some story elements. For example, things like I make them succeed should say something along the lines of I gave them the opportunity to succeed. And if you put it if you put it in that lens, then you can gauge your own abilities based off of that and your own interactions with the party. So if the party doesn't notice the things that you lay out, that's a clear indicator that you need to make them a little more obvious. And if they are noticing everything that you lay out, maybe you could dial it back or just be happy that they're noticing things. So if you're having the trouble finding the balance between good and ruthless, loosen the reins up a little bit and give your players more control over the situation. There's nothing wrong with being surprised as a DM. It's actually a little, it's actually kind of fun. And I can assure you that it will also solve the issue with them not caring. Now, I don't know if this issue of not caring carries over in multiple aspects, but if there is any issue in not caring, I think giving them more control over their situ over the situations that they're in will at least help with that. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have a question for me for the Dungeon Master Hotline, I host a live stream on Saturdays at 4 p.m. Central Time, and I go for about two hours. So it's available to the public. Anybody can join. Just hop in the Discord, wait for the announcement. And you can come in, talk with me. We can have a chat about your issues. If you can't make that time, Head on over to the subreddit, r slash Sam, and you can make a post about it, and I'll make a video just like this one. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you at Sunday.